so we did a super nasty fender mod but the wheels fit they turn we were even able to lower the truck down a little bit more minor metal trimming my ass tomorrow's thursday let sean's last day here so jordan's gonna be here in the morning we're gonna wrap the bumpers wrap parts of the door handle we can finally throw the grill on and hopefully get this piece back from paint yo what's up punk ass motherfuckers we're doing sean's build today let's go I am Sean Chartier and I'm the original founder of Custom Offsets. This looks so good. It's gone smooth. This isn't anything really like the old days. You are the NorCal master, act like it. I'm thinking I hate it, but without going to a body shop, that's about the best she's gonna get. He wanted a 2012 NorCal, he got one. on your face. Yeah, what's the heck? No, like, it's surprisingly okay. <laughs> Will that clear? We went extra, so. All day. I think it's fantastic. <laughs> hey, easy. That's better than your first one in 2012. Anything better than that first one. Put this guy's wheels on backwards. He'd have the grill on. He does, he has it on the ground. All the way cranked, it gets really tight, but that's your fire rod. There's no, there's no going past that. What, there's a fucking bed rug? You didn't it's know the that. best day ever. <laughs> I love bed rugs. Are you going to the back here so I can see what it looks like when it's lowered in the back too? Are you sure we can't lower it that much and still? Yes. Oh no. For the one time in my life I haul any weight, I feel like we're going down the raptor path all over again. Every yeah. time. <laughs> Every time. Oh, I'll get a raptor. I'll tow with it. Who cares if it's bad with towing? How often do I tow? Is this why I always end up with a vehicle that's useless? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Possibly. Yeah. Yep, it's perfect because you came in here with a goal in mind to keep it practical and a vehicle that everyone can use and rent out and it's leading us impractical with a vehicle that no one will want to use. So perfect for you. <laughs> I think that's the end. Send her to alignment. You're gonna put ticker talkers all up on the internet about that fender mod you've done. <laughs> Let my buddy fix them. He'll do them nice. Do you wanna ask him to quote that and um, if he can do it early next week? Because it leaves on Yeah, like when do you need it done? Though. It leaves Thursday. It could have saved us a lot of work if you'd have mentioned that earlier. I mentioned, I mentioned it to the banker after I already did it. <laughs> mentioned it. So we gotta wrap the rear bumper, the chrome, front bumper chrome. And we gotta do the door handles on the back side as well. So we're gonna wrap those all 3M gloss black. Just getting rid of that chrome just this far makes this truck look significantly better. Like, oh my god. I knew it was going to, but until you actually see it. Yep. Looks good. Did he see it yet? No, I told him he's not allowed back here until it's done. Now. Hey, 
see you. Do you want to see your truck? I don't know, do I? Wait. Well, it's Dawn. Can I bring Rick with it? Rick's like, no, but I can see This is Rick from Rohana. <laughs> Tell Rick the story. Rick. I bought a 2012 Chevy Silverado three quarter ton. I lowered it. Okay. And I put 24 by 12s. And when I say I, I mean Banker did everything. And I just paid for it. Let's take a look. <laughs> Does that look better? That looks a lot better. I really like that. Black front end looks so it's good. It's so good. Some rubbing or no rubbing? Almost none. Full lock, it'll just barely get. Oh yeah. But the next step is to take it to a body shop. And for like 600 bucks, he's actually gonna make that look stop. On both sides. Nice. I like it a lot. She's still toast because like you said, we took out a little bit of the suspension in the rear, but left enough where it can still absolutely bolt in. Yeah, That's absolutely. Nice. What year is this? It used to be a 2012, now it's a 2022. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think it turned out really good. I'm very happy with it. For I, what we need to do, it turned out good. All right, so you could just talk to how I'll be main camera. Okay, yep. And then you're traveling with me? Yep, I'm okay. traveling with you. Perfect. All right, uh, whatever you're ready. Hey guys, Sean again, Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube. We've got another vehicle spotlight for you today. It's my 2012 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. Didn't go up this time, we went down. Let's go. So like I said, this 2012 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD, my guy up at Holiday actually hooked me up. This thing's only got 40,000 miles, and it's a 2012. So it's got super clean paint, so we went a little crazy with it. We did a 24 by 12, and this is the Archon Lincoln, designed by yours truly. Just thought I'd throw that in there. And by the way, it's good to be back. I missed you guys. So it's 24 by 12. So we'll do our build test, and you're gonna see that if you haven't seen the uh, Lincoln yet, I'm sorry to hear about that. Specifically designed with this Infinity Lift. So the 12 wide, if you go up the front of the spoke, it's probably about a four inch lip because it is a concave spoke, but we designed it to have no lip in between the spokes. So what we call that is our Infinity Lip, and you'll see it goes all the way to the, pol I I'd call it the ridge of the polished section of the chrome, is at least seven inches of lip on a 12 wide. And then we wrap those in the 30, uh, 305, 35, R24, and this is that Nitto 420V. This basically replaced the 420S, which was a thing back when I made my last video, so I guess time has flown. The three-quarter ton already sits high. So what we did is we dropped down the front end, I believe it's right around an uh, inch and a half by turning the keys down. And in the rear, we did the Magoyas two-inch drop shackle, which drops the rear an ultimate three and a half because we also pulled the leaf. But you can see we had to trim the entire front bumper so I'd say, I think he had to take probably about an inch off the front. And in the back here, we had to really get creative. We had to do a full NorCal inside of there and it still was hitting on the actual exterior of the fender. So he went in and basically creased it over, folded it back, pulled it with this. And you could leave it like this if you really don't care. I found a guy for like 600 bucks that's gonna actually take that and he's gonna clean that up, weld that, and make that look professionally done. Basically taper it rather than where you have to kind of have a cutoff point here. So for like 600 bucks, you should be able to find a local body shop that can do this and do it extremely clean if you want it perfect. And like I said, this truck is super clean, so I am gonna go back and do that. I wanna still be able to tow with this truck, so we did keep quite a bit of suspension. A lot of guys around the shop are making fun because I lowered it, but it's not even a true 2-4 drop. And the reason is I still want to be able to pull about 10,000 pounds worth of boat or trailer with it. And as far as um, wrapping and lighting, we wrapped the bow tie to give you just that surround and stick with more of that uh, touch of chrome look. And then we wrapped the bumper to get rid of all the chrome in the bumper. We did the recon tail lights, 
with the handles, I've wrapped the entire handle before, and what you run into is this always wants to peel because there's really no place to put an edge. So what I did this time is just wrapped the surrounds and left the handles, which kind of gives that, that Cadillac Escalade look where they had the uh, chrome handles surrounded by the black. Recon headlights also. Wanted to really have the headlights disappear. The headlights on these trucks are humongous. So I wanted to kind of get those to disappear. And then they got your daylight running, neons. Swapped out the front grill with that LTZ grill from back in the day. It's got the chrome mesh on the front. And it's got, again, the black bow tie with the surround. Blacked out the front bumper. And then just a little final touch. Went with the 50 cal antenna. And of course the custom offset sticker. Let's go check out the inside. So for the inside, what we did is we went with the cat skin leather interior. So it's a complete swap out. So it's all leather throughout. And then we actually had the sunroof cut into it. And then we went with the full CarPlay audio backup camera head unit with an eight inch sub. So what we're able to do is basically take this 2012 by completely redoing the interior, completely redoing the head unit backup camera. That basically upgrades the entire interior to kind of have that 2022 features feel at least. That's what I'm telling myself. That's gonna be another vehicle spotlight on a 2012 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD, this time with almost a 2.4 drop and some 24 by 12s and some 305s. Peace. It, it's about standing out. It's about being different. It's an addiction. It's never going away and I'm totally cool with that.